Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the, when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to, when you launch the game for the first time, it's taking time. For me, it took around four to five minutes. So just wait for a few minutes once you launch the game because you might see the black screen and then if you wait for a few minutes, that black screen may go away and you should be able to launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game using the shortcut. So you can go to desktop. Over here you can see the game. So you can just make a double click over here. Click on yes to allow and then launch the game using the desktop shortcut. So let me close the game now. Now still you are facing the problem. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. Open the game folder. Open the sources folder. Now open bin folder. Select the game exe file. Now click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Now click on browse and again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file. And now once you select it, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, click on OK and now launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to try these in launch option. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. So make a right click on the game, select properties. Over here, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can try dash DX12. And then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Then in that case, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to install a DirectX file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see DirectX and user runtime. Click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow accept next uncheck install the bing bar i don't want it so next and let the installation complete this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to install it and once done click on finish and then restart your computer now after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to Install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. You have to download x86 and you have to download x64 and you have to run both the exe file. So run it. If you see the repair, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this. Once that is done, run this x64, download this, and then run this exe file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, you have to click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install and let the installation complete. Just ignore it because I have already installed it. It's telling me to restart my computer. So restart your computer. Restart is a must. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. Now, this is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to 
rename or delete the save game files now when you do that you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so only if you agree you can do this to rename the save game file you can open file explorer in your computer and then go to this pc or you can simply go to documents over here go to documents open my games here you can see expeditions you can make a right click and then you can uh, just rename it dot old and then check launch the game the game will start from scratch now still not working in that case you can delete the save game file now to delete the save game file uh, you can simply make a right click on expeditions in documents and then delete it now once this is deleted now you can launch the game you can also find the save game file open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder open the user data folder now over here you can open your steam id folder open 2477340 and here you will you might find the save game file so you can just rename it if you want to rename it you can just put dot old if that does not work you can just delete it but you will lose all the game progress so delete it and then launch the game and then check next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type in my case it's ge force and then select the right series in my case it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search now once the search is complete just scroll down over here you can see the latest GeForce game ready driver is version 551.61. This is the studio driver, but this is the GeForce game ready driver. This is the one. Now click on get download and then click on download now. And once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Now click on agree and continue and then select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next it first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation of the latest driver and once this is done you can restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this Type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and again open the game folder. Sources, then select the game exe file. Now click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on options, select high performance. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 
16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so disconnect if you have additional usb adapter which you are not using disconnect it disconnect additional controller connected to the computer try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game and then select properties and go to the general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn it off and then launch the game and then check also if you have any other overlay application like discord g force experience running you can just close all the overlay application and launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any other overclocking application just close all the overclocking application and then launch the game also if you have any third party services or application running close it including all your browsers also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game now if you are able to launch the game avoid using all tab because this might cause black screen issue so avoid using uh, all tab and if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step and try to switch to window mode and lower down graphics setting so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game you can go to settings and then go to the video tab now over here if this is set to borderless you can switch to window mode lower down graphics settings now if this is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p uh, or you can even lower down more so you can try 1920 if you can even lower it down now i will just lower it down more now if the vsync is on you can turn it off and then check now if the fps limit is off you can set it at 60 and then check the performance and now over here turn off motion blur scroll down now over here go to visual quality preset now here you can see visual quality preset 
now if this is set to ultra so if this is set to ultra you can set it to high you can even go to you can select medium over here apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game and then once after you uninstall the game you can go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if you have installed the game to another drive you can try installing the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel